Is he off the room? Oh. <laughs> okay, hi guys. And we're back for lesson 322. This one's entitled, and would you like Nook's version of it or Jesus's version of it? I'll read both. <laughs> really? I, I haven't got a version of this, have I? <laughs> oh, I can well. give up but what was never real. Oh, okay. Say or, it again. I can only give up what was never real. I can give up only what was never real. Okay, does that mean I can... The only thing only... that we can give up is the false. Well, so I like to practical. I like to take this in practically. I mean, one of our greatest fears as mythical me mm -hmm. is the fear of loss. Yes. Of something valuable sacrifice yes sacrifice all right so what is he saying in this statement that you could only ever sacrifice what was never true to begin with nothing real can be threatened nothing unreal exists that's what he's saying okay thank you yeah so here we go i sacrifice illusions nothing more and as illusions go, I find the gifts illusions tried to hide awaiting me in shining welcome and in readiness to give God's ancient messages to me. His memory abides in every gift that I receive of him. And every dream serves only to conceal the self which is God's only son, the likeness of himself, the Holy One who still abides in him forever, as he still abides in me. I love that truth there, that behind every illusion, there's a gift. Yeah, there's a gift. I find the gifts illusions tried to hide, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, you know, for me immediately here is my incorruptible innocence, mm -hmm. which has got to be one of the greatest gifts to recall or remember or recognize again. It's my incorruptible innocence yeah. because it's my immunity to all of the ego laws here in the dream. That's right. And, and through that, through claiming that, I'm also going to welcome my infinite safety, my infinite security, peace, joy, love, right? That is, that, that's a huge gift, all of that. Um, and that's what the, the ego has been trying to hide. That's right. Because there's the light behind every illusion. It's there to behold when we don't want to see the illusions, we will recognize the light. And there's the gift which holds the memory of God. And when we remember God, we remember ourself, our holiness, or as Sis is saying, the incorruptible innocence. And when you know your innocence, there's nothing the ego can even come up with that can touch you because there's no part of your mind that has any guilt that can associate with it or give it belief. And that's where fearlessness comes, divine that's fearlessness. Because the guilt is gone. Mm -hmm. There can't be any fear without that guilt. That's right. Or without that un sense of unworthiness, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the guilt. Yeah. So the innocence is the felt, is your knowing that the separation never occurred. Mm -hmm. That's the memory of God returning to our awareness, that we are not separate. The felt state that we could never be separate, therefore we're not. And the memory of what we are returns to us, the Christ. Yeah. And that's exactly what we accept each time we accept the atonement. That's it. Right. Thank you for fleshing that out. Yes, when we say accept the atonement, that's what we're doing. The separation has not occurred. I still, as God created me. As Jesus says, the truth is true. And nothing else. And nothing else is true. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
That's what we claim in accepting the atonement. Yep. Hallelujah. All right, family, let's join on this before I read the prayer. We're going to give up today the belief in sacrifice. You ready? Love does not require sacrifice. So here we go. Father, to you, all sacrifice remains forever inconceivable. And so I cannot sacrifice except in dreams. As you created me, I can give up nothing you gave me. What you did not give has no reality. What loss can I anticipate except the loss of fear and the return of love into my mind? He wills no sacrifice for his son. The changeless, perfect love is ours always. I can give up but what was never real. Beautiful, sis. What a felt experience then. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Felt that too. Okay. So much gratitude. Yeah, that's the perfect way to wind up these lessons in perfect gratitude. Thank you, family. Thanks for the felt state of peace. Thank you. Thank we you. Will, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Do we have anything that we wanted to? No blogs, no nothing. Just this piece. I'm accepting it for us all. Okay, good. Thank you. Me too. This is everything. Yep. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys.